BMW R9 T test ride. I got to try out this lovely bike. I've uh, been salivating over this bike for about a year or so since it was um, announced and um, had a great opportunity to test it. Here's the sound of it. So thanks for Avon City Motorcycles. Um, uh, just let me have a go on it today. It sort of made my weekend. It sounds, it sounds better than mine, <laughs> but mine's got stock exhaust without the, you know, all the fancy one. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty much take it out. Okay, yeah, it won't be long. I'll okay. just go around the airport and back. Yeah, yeah. You want to get a good feel for it. Yeah, 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 yeah we'll do. Alright, cheers. See you soon. Yeah, as I was saying in this um, in that first bit, yeah. um, the bike that I normally ride, as you saw in the intro film, is a BMW R80 from the early 80s, or late 80s to early 90s, half built in East Germany, well actually West Germany, sorry, um, or mostly built in West Germany. Um, but this bike here, modern uh, version of my bike, ABS, um, 50 more horsepower, so it produces around about 110 HP um, on this bike compared to the 50 horses that my little uh, R80 can produce. It's a fantastic bike, um, feels very similar to my bike, a lot of engine braking, um, but just better engineered, um, obviously this is 20 years later, if not more, um, but also being a bike that's sort of reaching out to the cafe racer generation and the hipster generation that's sort of getting into bikes, it's kind of got less thrills. Pretty much the only um, gimmick it's got apart from the LCD uh, dash with all info with um, fuel usage is uh, um, ABS. There's no heated grips and no traction control that I know of. So it's a pretty simple bike, I like that. Um, yeah, the, the, the Boxer has its own sort of unique feel. It kind of, you know, you, when you're at the lights, you rev it, you feel it pull. Anyway, in this little test ride, I went around the airport. Um, and this is a road that they've now closed, but it's um, the only access to the, um, the private part of the airport for the small planes and stuff. So, got some good money shots of the bike there. And also got to see what the acceleration of the bike was like, which was, it was hugely superior over my R80. But um, to sports bikes, it's probably struggled to keep up with it. But I quite like it. It's, it's probably just the right amount of power that I would I'd like around, you know, around about 120 horsepower or so. So um, here we pull into the little aviation park, and I see a McLaren MP3 or MP4 or MP something or other um, with its doors up. And um, yeah, I want to look at that, but I was kind of focused on the time limit that I had the bike for. Um, Usually they, they loan bikes out for five minutes or so, but um, he let me have a bit more time on it so I can get some good video footage of it. It's a Harvard. Um, yeah, so the bike itself, it, 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 it is a nice bike. I hear from some reviews that it can be quite uncomfortable after an hour or so, or for long distance touring riding, but I think it's actually quite a comfy bike. Um, um, in fact, it's probably comfier than the bike I own. Um, it is noisy, but not too noisy. Um, enough to you know let people know that you're coming which I think is a good safety uh, sort of feature um, the, the boxer engine is the older engine obviously the new newer boxer in the, the GS is a newer and I don't like the the way they've got the air intake and the exhaust going down below and I guess that's all to do with the water oil cooling it's where this is just oil cooled my GoPro is starting to crap out here I've actually just um, contacted GoPro and they're going to try I've tried the firmware update and that's a thing. Anyway, the acceleration it was immense. Um, uh, I liked it, it was just right. And this was another road, as you can see, it was quite a nice morning and it had been minus four overnight, so a bit of black ice and um, didn't really want to push it too much. But also, I noticed the ABS kicking every now and then uh, when I was braking um, over areas which could be slightly icy. So this is just another sort of naught to um, 100. I'd say it probably did in about four or five seconds. Um, didn't really time it, but I just wanted to see what it was like. Um, obviously not caning at full, because this is obviously a demo bike. You don't want to thrash it too much. Pulling on here to a main route, uh, road and uh, merging with traffic. It was really good. Oh, I really liked it. 
Um, just, yeah, as I said, there's no heated grips, and with my own BMW, which is 20 years old, that's got heated grips, and that's just like a, a must. Once you've experienced that, you, you, there's no going back. Um, the mirrors were good, lots of visibility, not much vibration. Oh, there's a bit. Um, I'm used to twins and singles, so, um, you know, it, it wasn't too bad. So, you know, what you saw in your mirrors was quite clear. It wasn't all blurry like it's on my R80. Um, so it's a better balanced engine. Um, one of the snags with this bike is that everything is torque screws or whatever they're called. So it's not something that most garages would have. So like taking the seat off and all that, you have to get special tools for. Anyway, this is the end of the ride. Um, yeah, thanks again to Avon City Motors Cycles in, in Christchurch for letting me have a ride. There's a few other demo bikes that they got there. Got Suzuki as well as BMW dealership here. Anyway, thanks very much. And also, um, on another side note, um, with the Mad Max film, um, I've noticed one of the Mad Max bikes is, bikes is a um, some sort of R bike by BMW. We've covered in roadkill, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that. Um, anyway, take care. Uh, subscribe, comment, and see you next time. Cheers.